Hi, welcome to Exploring the Illusion of Free Will. My name is George Ortega, and I'm here with Anel, our co-host. Anel, good to see you again. Thank you. Okay. Pleasure to be here. (laughs) This is episode number 82. We don't have free will because God created us. Okay? And so, like, before we get into this topic, we want to first go into why we're doing this show, why this is so important, and then after that, we're going to describe, we're going to explain what we mean when we say free will. So, Anel, why is this, like, an important show, an important topic? It's the most important topic in the history of mankind because about 70% of the world has it wrong. They're, they're tricked by the illusion that they believe incorrectly that they have a free will. Right, and again, it's the most important show in the history, probably, of broadcasting because... Um, Unless we discover life on another planet, I, this would be... Like intelligent life. Oh yeah. This would be this. Uh, this is the most important. This topic. is the biggest thing because the, the everybody's like, talking about it. We got magazines, books. Right. Now, you know. You things. know the the reason I use the word deluded is because like you can't say like you know everybody is illuded, right? You know what I'm saying? Like so basically. Everybody is tricked by the illusion of free will. No, it's I know, a but, more polite way. <laughs> right. But the the thing is like the entirety of civilization pretty much has the second fundamental fact of human existence completely wrong. In other words, like, to the extent we get this right, it's an entirely new human consciousness. Okay. Now, so how do they get it wrong? They think that things are up to us, that, you know, nothing that's not in our control is making us do anything. I want to put you on the spot since this is not rehearsed. Because I know a lot of viewers want to, know, want to know this, and I get this question all the time. Why should we listen to you? That's the first thing that I'd be watching the show, saying, who the hell is this guy? All right, well... It's not because I would have like a, a, some kind of degree. It. It's not that, it, that that I would have a PhD or a master's or bachelor's. Good. It's because we're making sense. It's because we're making sense on a level that not just a, a college person could understand, but also a high school person and a junior high school person and really an elementary school kid could understand. That, that, that's how basic it is. And you've been studying this question for 20 years. so Absolutely. And, I, I've and written, you've done a show on happiness. I, I've got a meetup that I've run for two you run, years you, on this. You speak several languages. <laughs> You've been all around the world, so yeah. you know what you're talking about. And, and again, a lot of times people want to like believe somebody because they have a PhD or some credentials. But you, with this, the topic, audience is wondering. No, see, the, you have like you have PhDs that write entire books about this, right. getting it wrong, okay. getting it wrong. So like our credibility is that there's like 20 books that just came on the market about it. There's yeah, uh, let's go. Th- um, covers of magazines in the last year alone, covers of, what is it, Scientific American? Which one is this? this? New Scientist. New These Scient- are major, Check major magazines. Now, this- h- how do you explain in the whole entire history of the world that, like, this issue was, it, the issue's coming out? So right. your, your credibility is that this is current. Yeah, I have, and anybody fact, can understand. But if, I'm in Mensa, and I've been. You know, anyway. If you see this, this is like a list of, of major articles on the subject. Right, that's a good. 2004 credit. to 2009, there are six of them. Okay, in 2010, there are about I don't know about ten of them, eight or so. And that's the thing. In 2010, I started this meetup in Manhattan, uh, exploring yes. illusion of free will, uh, and I was a member. That's and right. That was that was on April 6th. So, like, what happens, like, in, in Manhattan, there's about 1.5 million people. The New York metropolitan area, there's about 22 million people. So whenever anybody's looking through a meetup, they see our, our, um, our meetup says Exploring Illusion of Free Will, and that's how this word got out. So, okay. like, you've got 2010. In 2011, there's only a few, and I had to guess, all right, the reason there's very few in 2011, I'm guessing, is because of the Arab Spring in the beginning and then Occupy. That probably took The real place. mystery that needs to be solved is how any. I mean, I don't want to sound too arrogant because I know it's not me and I'm humble and both, but... The mystery is how could anybody actually believe in free will? I mean, I know, I know. One more thing. It's the most mysterious thing to me. I can't even believe when people tell me they believe in free will. I think they're, I think it's some sort of prank or joke. Right. They really believe that they can I make know. choice independent of their condition. 2012, right. about 30 articles. This is like <laughs> Los Angeles Times, Psychology Today, New York Times, uh, Huffington Post, The Atlantic, The Guardian. Um, I mean, all, all these, you know, scientific American mind. So, all right, so how, why do people believe in this? You know, that's the big question. Because uh, you could... Uh, Conditioning. Now, but, but, I mean... The universe has conditioned people and compelled people to be raised by people who believe in free will, and everything has its time. 
And the other thing people is used like, to believe the world was flat. 1492 lot, came, so 2012 is coming, and this free will thing is just gonna the the bubble is gonna burst on it. The reason just a question of when. Yeah, the reason have people haven't gotten it until now, because again, it's all over the news now, so they're getting it. But before this, is nobody brought it out into the public. That's what I did. That's yes, what we're doing yes. with our two shows, with our books. Well, and actually, stuff. I got my family members. I've convinced them to to no longer believe in free will. As with your meetup, but we're getting the question: Why does it matter more often than not? Like my brother, my mother, and you know the, the, some people in the meetup. Like uh, Mike is his name. Yeah. He yeah. always says, "Why does I don't have a free? Why does it matter?" So why does it matter? All right. Well, let, let's let's describe what we mean by. Let's free assume will we're right, and the whole world doesn't believe in free will. We win. We've won the battle. Does it matter? It does matter. Should we explain what we? I want you to win? explain because I don't want to be accused of interrupting or talking too much. <laughs> All right, free will. I'm giving you three minutes to explain. Free will. What we mean by free will is that means that we would be able to like say, think, feel, do whatever we wanted without anything that's not in our control taking part in the decision or deciding for us. Now, you want to just briefly before we get into this... this I'm sworn to three minutes of silence. You have two and a half minutes of a monologue. <laughs> All right, so why... Why it matters, why it matters, why it matters. We'll get into why it matters. Now, the reason we don't have free will is we have an unconscious. By definition, the unconscious mm. is the part of our mind that our conscious mind isn't even aware brilliant. of. Brilliant, that's brilliant. Okay, yes, so like what happens is when you're making a decision, you got to base it on data, on memories, on stuff. That stuff cannot be in your conscious mind. Your conscious mind can only be aware of one or two or three things at a time. So it's got to be in your unconscious. Now, if you've got the stuff in your unconscious that you're basing your decision on, obviously the decision is made at the level of the unconscious. And what happens in the unconscious makes, the con makes you aware, because consciousness is awareness, and that's, you know, and the unconscious makes the conscious mind think that it made the decision. That's kind of an irony. But anyway, that's... If he had a free will, he would have answered the question. The question is, why does this matter? All right, let's get into it. He that. rambles right. into the unconscious. The reason, you still got a minute and a half. The reason... Um, why it matters, let's say it slowly, why <laughs> does it matter... The reason it matters so like, much when when we fall for this illusion of free Thank will... Thank you. Ah, brilliant. And... And we do something wrong, let's say. We do, you know, we're human. We do stuff wrong all the time. When we do something wrong, we're going to blame ourselves. We're going to feel guilty. Not only we're, we're going to feel the pain of guilt, mm -hmm. you know, because we're taught as little kids, when we do something wrong, first our parents punish us, then they teach us to punish ourselves. So, like, to the extent that um, we understand free will's illusion, fine, we still have a conscience, we still know right and wrong, but we don't blame ourselves. 45 more seconds. All right. So, now, so like that, that's in terms of self-blame. And to the extent we don't blame ourselves, let me tell you, there's a lot of people who like ultimately commit suicide, who just like get depressed and stuff. So the, this is your stuff. So to the extent... I'm giving you silence. This, I want to see how well you do. All right, I'm, yeah. Um, so to the extent we get this, we would like be much healthier emotionally, psychologically. So less self-blame. Yes, absolutely. But it's more than that. It's like we... You know, we're social beings. We, we live with people, you know, spouses, families, brothers, sisters, friends and stuff. And when other people do stuff wrong, we blame them fundamentally. We fundamentally blame them. We say, you're, you know, you did something wrong and stuff. And, like, what happens when... Condemn when, them to hell. What? Condemn them to hell. Well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we, we condemn them to hell. Eight but, seconds. But but the idea is like to the extent that we understand the free will illusion, there's absolutely no logical reason for blaming them for anything. So what happens is we're more compassionate toward them. We're more understanding. We can figure out exactly what why they did what they did wrong without all the. Okay, now that my three minute silent treatment self imposes over because he accuses me of interrupting so and talking too much. The reason why it matters, number one reason on the board of like family feud. Number one reason, if there's no free will. God cannot judge a man without free will, so nobody's spending eternity in heaven or hell. Isn't that the number one? I like your, actually, there's reason one, and re, I mean, less self-blame, less suicide, less depression, so life is much better without a free will, but why does it matter you take out this whole threat of hell, which is the fundamental, okay, you can still pragmatically blame someone and send them to jail, but you're not putting them because eternity is a very long time. Oh yeah, it's infinity plus one plus infinity. You know how it works. You know, I don't. I don't what does it do? It's infinity plus infinity. So, if you send someone to hell for something, 
if God can't judge you, you're, nobody's going to hell or heaven for eternity. Right, and the thing is... So you, that is huge. Yeah, and you can't, you can't threaten people with that. The church, yeah. Judaism, Christianity, Islam... They threaten say, them with the psych they ward say, if they if say that. If you don't believe what we want you to believe, you're evil, you're so evil, you deserve to, to spend the rest Actually, of the time Actually, let me, let me just adjust that. If there is heaven or hell, it's predetermined if you're going to heaven or hell, which is even more ludicrous. But it wouldn't be fair. I mean, if nothing is up to right. us... Right, it's one or the other. Right. There's no free will. There still could be... I don't want to have everyone yell at me and say, <laughs> if there's heaven or hell... You have you were predetermined to go to it. That doesn't make sense either. But that, that people could argue that I guess no free will. But the, so you're predetermined to be in heaven or hell for all of eternity. Your soul is roasting over flames and and it wouldn't be fair. The Calvinists yeah, how could it be predetermined? This. That's crazy. They call it Calvinists call it predestination. They they say that like God before you were born decided whether you were going to go to heaven or hell. I know it's, it, it doesn't make sense. And what if you have a serial killer who kills a million people and on his deathbed? <laughs> He, uh, he says to the, the minister, I, f- I found Jesus, I believe in God. Does he get to go to heaven versus uh, some kid who lives in uh, some third world country who's never even heard of Jesus and gets killed by a spray of bullets in the Indonesian jungle and, he's, and, and, he, and he didn't swear his life. He's Buddhist or whatever, Hindu or whatever religions they have and he, he prays to a monkey or whatever. Uh, but because he doesn't give us, he's going to hell for all of it's eternity. Not fair. It's he didn't even not know fair. there was a choice to be made. I know, I know. And again, the fundamental reason it's not fair is we don't have a free will. Whether we decide <laughs> there you or not go. is not up There's to us. There's the passion I love. Okay. Now, we should, we should do the this topic. This is the Exploring Illusion Free Will comedy, All right. comedy half We hour. don't have a free will because God created us. This is the, the theme of Oh, yeah, of let's go to the show. topics at hand. All right, now. Where is it? Okay. I want to present an example of what we mean by this. Okay? Go ahead. You're a, um, you're a brilliant scientist, a brilliant computer scientist, and you make a robot, okay? And through some kind of magic, because it's not really possible in real life, but through com- some kind of magic, you endow this robot with free will, okay? The robot escapes your <laughs> lab. <laughs> he escapes your lab. It's a ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Okay. All right. All right, okay. He escapes your, your lab, goes out into town, wreaks havoc, commits a lot of crimes, okay? He gets <laughs> captured. Now... You're in front of the judge. The robot isn't the only person in front of the judge. All right, you're in front of the judge because you created him. Now you're going to tell the judge, "Listen, I'm innocent because I gave this this robot a free will." You know, so you can't blame me. What do you think the judge is going to say? <laughs> Wait, who's in front of the judge? Both. I mean, like, well, y- the programmer is more more at fault than the than the ro- the thing that has free will that was created by the scientist, which is God is innocent because he didn't create himself. Exactly. That's the theme so of the show. So God is guilty in this. That's uh, the theme of this show. The creator is guilty. Right. Because like, so like, if I were the judge, I would blame the guy. Who, the scientist created the robot who he gave free will, who committed crimes. Exactly. Because like another definition of free will... Yeah, that, that you got it exactly. Because like the robot well, didn't Why did the ro- robot commit crimes if it had free will? It didn't know because it was programmed. It was programmed, you know, in some way because free will. So then it didn't have free will. Well, free will is incoherent. You, you got to realize. Yeah, yeah that's whole it, argument's it's incoherent. T- exactly. So no, <laughs> the idea, right? Another way of describing what free will is that that means that we would be ultimately. I just want to say there's a 50 arguments about why there isn't free will. We could get on the show with Deepak Chopra and all these other. They talk gibberish, esoteric things. Nonsense, psycho babble. It's just cause and effect, really. Absolutely. Oh, that's we, what you're saying. We could explain that. You're saying the robot was caused. He didn't call. He didn't create himself. Exactly. Ah, right, that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea is like, all right, one death. Yeah. Nobody gave birth to themselves. Your parents what? gave birth to you. Right. So nobody created themselves. Think about. We it. We don't care how the universe was created. No human being created themselves. We didn't create ourselves. Therefore, so, there's a cause to everything. So no, no. So one, one or another reason, another definition of free will is that if we have free will we are ultimately morally responsible for what we do that's another definition okay so now from this example we just showed with the robot and stuff yeah if the judge and we are going to blame the um the programmer the scientist not the robot use that analogy so like in other words like if we do stuff wrong it's not our fault it's god's fault because God created us. I mean, and, and this, like, in, in religions we do this. In, in religion, you know, because... It's I'm not believe- even our fault if we don't believe in God, because 
God programmed us not to believe in him. No, no. For I'm those religious, people, I'm religious. You're religious. We've been raised religiously, and the um, way we I don't were know. taught. I'm not, you know, conventional. I believe I in the cosmos, the universe, stuff. cause and effect. I don't think, the, you know. The way we were taught is like, you know, when we do something. I don't believe in an imaginary friend no, who I don't either. does I, favors I, I for me. That's God crazy. Is, I believe God is the, the universe. The neutral energy in the universe of cause right. and effect. But that the way, all right, the way we were taught is like when we do something good, okay, thank God, praise God. We, we couldn't do that good without God's making us do it, or without God's allowing us to do it, right? That's the way we're taught. Well, and that's most people I know, I deserve a raise and I deserve something. No, I know, but the, we, we, we we're, we're taught to feel grateful because, of, because we're taught to praise God, to thank God when we do good. When we do wrong... Well, unless you're an atheist, but yeah. Right, when we do wrong, what, the, what, what religions teach us when we do wrong, no longer it's not God's fault, then it's our fault. And that's where this this illusion of free will is so pernicious, so insidious, because it, you know, it gives God the credit for the good stuff and gives us the, the blame for the bad stuff. That's not right. That's not fair. <laughs> right. Now, um, religion. Let's, let's address this from the standpoint of... I just want to say one thing. People who believe in free will, they'd like to tell me you could have done otherwise. No, have you ever heard that argument? I know it's not part of the show. Okay, that's sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you never heard that argument? Uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. Oh, is that Absolutely. another one? Okay. That, that okay. Yeah, no, you're now let's right. Let's go on. Because, I mean, the, the simple answer to that is... Watch we, the next show. If we did I get very excited when I hear that. All right, because if we did do otherwise, that have a causal history also. I mean, if yeah. you could have done otherwise, why didn't you? Explain, explain <laughs> why Adam and Eve are guilt-free or not... Well, this is the first time I'm hearing this, so this is all... I mean, it's, he gave me an outline 10 seconds before, so I don't even, okay. Well, I, I emailed no, no, I didn't, this. I know, but I lost. This is my, seriously, this is my first time reading this. Trust me. Uh, you don't have a free will. I'm not blaming okay, you. Okay, let me get this straight. Religion, this is why it's so good, because it's unrehearsed. Right. Religion, Adam and Eve and the serpent. God didn't create them smart. What does this mean? In other words, all right, um, the story is that, this, and you know this, I think, just as well as I do. Um, the serpent deceived Eve, right? Yes. The serpent said, you know, God said you, you shouldn't um, touch this fruit of the yes, knowledge. Yes, that's of, correct. And then, like, but God God really actually said that you shouldn't eat of it, right? So the first, the serpent deceived them a couple of times. I'm not exactly sure of the story. I right. know that the Eve was deceived by the serpent. Right. So here's the thing. Now, if God would have created Adam and Eve smarter or more obedient, then they wouldn't have um, been disobeyed. deceived. Exactly. Right. You know, that's the thing, because, like, you know, in terms of, like, our intelligence, our level of obedience, that's that's something that God programmed into them, you know? Right. If, if God would have but made... But th this really proves that everything has a cause. Well, yeah, sure. So God caused the serpent to exist and be deceiving, and the serpent caused Eve to fall for the whatever trick that she fell for, and Eve caused Adam to eat from the apple... And the original sin started. There's a cause and effect chain. Right. And, and if, we ca if we carry that back to Adam and Eve, like everything has but to be But why don't we cause. just carry it back to our own lives from the day we were born or conceived? Why, why do we have to go back to the beginning of time for? No, no. For Adam and Eve, we've got to because they were like the first. I know, people. but we're just worried about if humans have a free will right. in your lifespan. All right. So if we're considering us. I mean, we could go back to the beginning of time. You could do whatever you want. No, it's we... fine. That's fine. But it's confusing for everybody. Like, in your, if people watching this, they want to know if they have a free will in their life. Right. So let's and explain. And the answer is no. Let's explain, let's explain why causality makes free will yes. impossible. Yes. Okay. You, everything has a cause. Everything Thank has you. to have a cause. Things don't happen that aren't caused. And if they did happen done caused, that wouldn't give you free will either because you couldn't, it couldn't be caused by a will, free or otherwise. Okay. It would be random. Right. So, so, and by the way, quantum physics is pro it's all based on probabilities. Right. And that's all causal. So I don't want to hear this shit. Exactly. Am I allowed to curse on them? I don't know. We've got to talk to the director. This Heisenberg crap and the quantum mechanics nuts. Right. And even if they can't find the cause, there are hidden variables not yet discovered, and the Higgs boson was just discovered a couple of weeks ago. I mean, they're, they're, those guys are out of their minds. I know, I know. I can say fucking minds, but I don't want to get you. Yeah. No, no. All right, so like, <laughs> anyway, so like, everything has to have a cause. Everything has to have a cause. So now, that means anytime you move, feel, say something, decide conscious something. Conscious or unconscious. There's a, exactly, Semi there's a cause to it. Okay? Now we're making sense. Then there's a cause to that cause. How much time of this crap and is left? No, I'm just kidding. we got like seven minutes left, seven, almost eight minutes. This is the all-time greatest show, there's a, So the there's way. a cause to that cause. There's a cause to the cause 
that cause, and there's a cause to that cause, and you got to remember effect, cause and effect, the cause and effect, cause and effect, cause always and effect. go back in time. You can't have a cause, you know, into the future. So we're going back moment by moment in time, and this is a chain of cause and effect that goes back to, as you were saying, before we were born. So if you've got this chain of effect that's going back to before we were born, back to before the planet was created, back to the Big Bang, pr presumably, obviously we don't have a free will, because all that stuff that happened back then is causing everything that's happening now. I like to say every moment of the universe is dependent on the moment before. I mean, a meteorite is spinning around. They can say Halley's Comet's coming every 86 years. The stars. Just, so if every moment of the universe is dependent on the moment before and human beings are in the universe, wouldn't it make sense that every moment of a human life is dependent on the moment before? Absolutely. I mean, have you ever looked at a starry night and said, I'm outside the universe? No, that's no. crazy talk. We're in the universe. So every moment of the universe is dependent on the... I mean, you, you can't have it any other way. So I don't even know why... Th this whole thing is like... I don't know. It's, it's I don't want to say it's beneath my touch. Just... I really want our call. We do this every other week in Manhattan. We have a live call and show. So if you're watching this show on the taped in Manhattan, call next week. If you believe in free will, I'm going to invite you on the show. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to start offering money. I want, to, I want someone who believes in free will to debate me live. Deepak Chopra probably thinks he's too big for us. He's so arrogant. But, I mean, philosophy professor from Columbia who's watching this, come on the show. Tell me what you need me to pay you. I want to debate you under the table or not because it's predetermined, but yeah. I think I'll win. You know you'll win. What are you kidding? I mean, these guys... What, what did your other friend say? Everything has a cause, it's random, or there's a third alternative? That's the thing. Some people... He never told me what it was. They're I, incoherent. There is no third alternative. There's well, either, according things to, right. are either caused right. or uncaused. If you're there's watching no the other... show in Manhattan and the tape, call next week. If you have a free will, please call and tell me why, and then come on the show and we'll debate so the whole world can see. Hopefully we get on CNN. Absolutely. I want all the greatest thinkers of the world who believe they have a free will, to tell me wh how they could possibly... I think they're kidding. I, don't, I think it's like a comedy hour with these guys. And, and you got to ask yourself... They don't really believe it. All right, the they, universe, they can't be that dumb. The universe they has done this dumb. stuff to us before. The universe made us believe that the world was flat. The universe made us to believe that the entire Earth is motionless. That, you know, we're actually spinning around the sun at 600,000 miles per hour, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, in addition to rotating on our axis. So the universe does I this I think a two-year-old dog could figure out there's no... I mean, I don't want to... No, it's a, a true. Three -year -old, it was, uh, but, a four-year-old, I mean, the, the retar I don't want to get, you know, the dumbest person in the world could easily figure out there's no free will. I know, but all right. So you got some of the brightest guys in the world. I would say to Deepak Chopra, Deepak, a guy of your intelligence, you must be kidding. I mean, you, you must know. be kidding. And he says there's it. infinite possibilities, then, so I'm going to wake up tomorrow and become a Pakistani cricket player yeah, if no, I no, want to no. be. I know. Any kind of like How about a, a Russian nuclear scientist? Can I, like can, I, can I go in a submarine and become a nuclear, Russian nuclear captain? That's right. De Can De I? Deepak Chopra, no. By the way, if there was free will, people would start thinking that because nothing would have a cause. It would be more chaos. Yes, absolutely. All right. <laughs> Do you understand um, that? You never understand that part. Why? People say to us, without free will, there'll be chaos. With free no. will, there'll be chaos because we no cause. Everybody would wake up thinking they could play, uh, you know, they could be a NASA our Argentinian I soccer that, player yeah. tomorrow. So in other words, like if we were doing stuff for no reason, yeah. then that tomorrow would be Tomorrow like, I'm going to wake but, up yeah, and... Uh, there'd be no... no logic to it I, i'm gonna be a uh, spanish golfer tomorrow how's that <laughs> right. right. world famous let's let's get into the this filipino daily... celloist i mean I, I could i mean there would be no it would be so crazy you know the only reason why i can even speak english to you is because of laws cause and effect you understand what i if yeah. you say a word that i don't know it's because i didn't i wasn't conditioned to know it i mean go ahead the whole thing is so <laughs> Doesn't it bother you that people believe in free will? But it's not their fault. That's the thing. It bothers. Do you me. want to live on a planet it with people this ridiculous, that God and stupid? Did this? It bothers me that the universe made everybody so stupid and so. But if you're on the street and someone tells this. you they have free will, don't you get homicidal in a way? I mean, it's no, because I can't blame that they're them. They're so fucking. Oh, sorry. They're so stupid. Uh, that you can't blame them. You know, again, you blame the universe. Why these did the books, universe... these guys, I've read these books. They're thousands of pages of gibberish. All right, you know why a lot of people believe in the free will? I have no idea. I would like I'm to gonna, know. In yeah. fact, this whole thing is ridiculous. So many people I should have been raised, born 100 years ago. So many people are raised in church or in synagogue. I don't stuff. care where you're when raised. When you're five years old, they'll tell you, listen, you've got to believe what the priest or the rabbi says because if you don't, you know, you're at risk of suffering eternally. And what made him so dumb? Eternally. 
That's, that's why people don't get this. If you're, if you're taught at four years old that you got to believe what these guys tell you, otherwise you're risking the rest of eternity. Right, I do. But what so, made them believe in free will? I mean, who could be you know, well, this a caveman could have told you? Years. This is, you know, Everybody's retarded? St. <laughs> Augustine in 15, um, no, no, um, 380 A.D. Something he, like that, he yeah. He wrote this book, De Libra Arbitrero, on free will in Latin. It's, it's like the first, he coined the term free will. And what was his reasoning? He's saying, well, God is all good, so if we do stuff wrong, it can't be God's fault. It's got to be our fault. He could have blamed Satan. He could have well, blamed what's the an, devil. He made an assumption God is all good. Who, who knows know. that? Well, that's another thing. And, is and he God he, himself? How does he know God's well, all yeah. good? How does he know God is an all neutral? Well, actually, logically, if God created everything, God can't be all good. He's all knowing, like, but he's not all good. Right, and is that right. how he came up with that nonsense that God is all good? Um, God, God. So therefore, if there's evil, it's got to be. But if our, man had a free will, why wouldn't we just Satan. choose? If man had a free will, why wouldn't we just choose to do good all the time? I can choose whatever I want. Then, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, you got a minute and a half to find free will. Free will is that we could choose whatever we want. Independent. Without, of anything that's not of in our, our control. conditioning of our condi- what and our saying? genetics. <laughs> yes. Because I want these people. I don't know what you're going to say. Because <laughs> I want to talk to everybody like they're two year olds at this stage because people just don't get it and I'm getting frustrated. Well, I know, but, but again. A golden don't retriever like, could figure this out. And you want to know something? And he doesn't speak English. You're not like, all right. Cause. Not, can you say cause and effect? Cause say cause and effect. effect. And the thing is, like, you're getting Deepak frustrated. Deepak Chopra could talk for 40 hours. He doesn't fault. make any sense. Why is the universe making I'm, you frustrated? I'm not all that frustrated. I mean, see, you can't blame you for it either. Because they're messing up my happiness. Other people believing in free will is impinging on my ability to not feel suicidal because I, I don't want to live on this earth. Them, but... I'm not blaming It's hurting my good time on earth that these people are retarded. I know, but you got to blame the universe. All right, we All right like so I was born in a time period where this whole gigantic shift is coming, and you and I have to be the ones to tell the world something so obvious that a two-year-old who's retarded and can we're understand. we're succeeding. Again, we're succeeding. The, it should have been done already. It should articles, been. 30 articles this year. Okay, we've got like about 25 seconds left. Um, the last thing, all right, we, couldn't, we didn't get to everything. That's all right. Um, we're going to like come back and explain in If we had a free will, we would have gotten to everything, just exactly on exactly as we planned and, it. And, you know, again, we're making history here. This is like Call next week if you believe in free will in the live in, show. In five years, if we're still around, If you believe you have free will, will like I'll pay you $500 to come the show. I'll de- we'll See debate. See you next time. Thanks.